They've come from California to show why they're the world champions and record holders when it comes to a traditional street sport. It's a PE lesson with a difference for the students at the Coles Hill School. With the dudes team in town to take the humble pogo stick to new extremes. Pogo sticks have been around in some shape or form for a hundred years, but it's only in the last decade they've got bigger and turned more extreme, following the trend of other trick sports like skateboarding and BMX. Extreme Pogo has now got competitive across the United States with the annual Pogo Pulitzer World Championships, and not surprisingly these guys are all world champions. I hold the world record for the highest jump on a pogo stick. Uh, I, j I cleared nine foot six inches, which I think is a little bit under three meters. The sport has now spread to other parts of the world, like Brazil, and the championship now in its tenth year tests height, distance, and stamina, as well as your variety of tricks. Fred has been training since he was eight, and now holds the world record for eleven backflips in a row, plus over a hundred consecutive jumps without using his hands. It's absolutely amazing. Just the jumping, you get like weightlessness. It's uh, you can do a lot of the tricks from other sports, and it's mobile. Pretty easy to just take the pogo stick, move around. You have like a portable trampoline. Foot goes in the middle, knee goes here, handlebars, stay close to your hips. It takes years of work to get to such heights, and although extreme pogo is now practiced by a few in the UK, at the school here, it was about laying the foundations and getting the basics right. <laughs> It's a bit up and down, but put, <laughs> put, put a spring, give me step. I didn't realise that I could actually do it, which is quite funny. Um, nice to see the no hands, it was good. I think it's really fun, like, it's different to any other sports that you do. Tiring, I mean, the training I must go through just to get to this stand, I mean, I'm out of breath already. <laughs> One of the best full body workouts, it doesn't just work out your legs, because you're jumping so high, you're using your core to stabilise, using your arms to push down, and of course your legs. I'm getting really frustrated at this. So far, this sport has stumped me completely. And you can see that actually for some beginners it is quite accessible. But as for me, we'll come back in six months' time. However, stick at something and you will succeed. Just six minutes later, it clicked. And I was away. 28, 29, 30. It's only another 70,046 to go to beat the world record for consecutive bounces in a row. Mike Bushell, BBC News, Birmingham.